hello and welcome to another video of easy tutorials and today in this tutorial i will show you how to make a responsive website using html css and bootstrap okay so here is the demo that i will create today okay so as you can see here is a beautiful logo and a navigation bar okay and then we have a beautiful text here and some buttons with beautiful hover effect here and one image okay and this website is fully responsive also now i will change the screen size so you can see this is fully responsive so once i will change this device size okay so as you can see here is one menu icon that i will click and then you can see all the menus so this is very easy to create a responsive website using bootstrap okay so before we start i'll request you please subscribe my channel easy tutorials okay so let's start here is my project folder here okay in this folder I have a image and logo I will rename this image and now I'll create one file called index.html done so now I will open this file with any text editor I'm using brackets editor here you can use any text editor okay so here I'm writing a HTML codes so in the head I'll write a title how to make a website Now I'll save this page and go to Google and type bootstrap. Okay. On the second website that is W3School, click here, get started and copy this file. Okay. And paste all these files in the head. Okay. Don't worry about this. I'll give you this website link in the description. You need to have a internet access while making this website. Now after adding these codes here I'll write some code in body okay so in this body I'll create a header and the class name header and then I'll create navigation here and the class name will be navbar this is a pre-built class of bootstrap and I'm using one own class navbar dash style in this navbar I'll create one more div okay and this will be class container then again I am creating one div and this will be class navbar dash header okay and in this navigation bar we will have one image so here I am adding one image for logo so here is the logo file logo.png I will add this logo here okay and now I will save this file and let's go to the website so here you can see the image now i am creating a file called style.css and again i will open with the text editor here i will write margin and padding then i'll write a css4 header height will be 100 vh and save this file now go to your html file and copy this one style navbar dash style okay so i'll write css code for this one so put a dot here here i will add a box shadow okay save this and now go to the html file and link this css file here so for that type link rel style sheet type and then href and save this file and go to your browser and here you can see a shadow below this navigation bar okay now go to the css file and type dot logo so logo height will be 48 pixel and i will add some padding also then save this file and go to your website so as you can see this is properly aligned okay now again go to the html file and 
after that i'll write here menu so for that type ul and i will use some class nav and nav word as nav then i am creating some menu here so i will write this line and just copy and paste okay now i will rename these text So like this we have simply created a menu now go to your website and you can see all these menu here in the navigation bar okay now i want to shift this menu to the right side okay for that i'll use a bootstrap class that is navbar dash right okay save this file and reload your website so this menu is in the right side so now resize this file and you can see this menu is visible so i want to hide this for this right uh, button type button and class navbar dash toggle then data toggle is equal to collapse and data target is equal to i'll leave it blank for now and in this button i'll write span class icon dash bar okay and i will use this three time okay then save it now reload okay so you can't see this menu icon here okay because of this color so i want to change this color okay color of this menu for that copy this icon dash bar and uh, in css write background dark orange okay now reload your page and you can see this menu icon over here but this click is not working on this menu okay for that go to your file and uh, here you type div class collapse never dash collapse and id you can write anything in id i am writing m icon okay menu icon and i will copy this menu icon okay and use this in a data target with has okay then save this file and now reload your website and you can see this menu is hidden and you can click on this menu icon so it will be visible so this navigation bar and navigation menu is working fine now i'll use the text transform of this navigate menu text okay so you can see this text in the uppercase okay and uh, now i want to change the color also so for that i'll write lia and the color will be black so you can see the changes in the color also okay so after navigation i will write some text here for that i'll create one container here and then one row okay in this row i'll create two column okay in the bootstrap you have 12 grid option okay so first i will use the six grid okay for the first column and again i will use the six grid for second column okay so like this you can create two columns here and in the first column i will write text and the second one i will use image so first i will write one small text how to in the h1 tag and then i'm writing create responsive website okay in the next line i will write learn how to make a beautiful responsive website using html css and bootstrap okay done now save this file and reload okay now you can see the text over here okay and in the second column i will add image for that type image source and select your image file name image.png that's it and save this file and 
reload this web page so you can see uh, image here what is but it is not responsive okay to make it responsive i will use this class image dash responsive that's it so now it is responsive here now i want to change this font size of this text for that i will use one class big text okay and then we have to write some css for this one so copy this one and write font size 52 pixel margin 20 pixel space 0 and color dark orange that's it so you can see this color and text size here okay after adding all these things i will add some buttons here so here i am adding two buttons okay so for that i will use two type of class so first i am writing the code for first button and the copy this okay and change this text to first button text is like this video and the second button text will be subscribe us now go to web page and you can see this button text here okay then copy btn and go to css file and type a dot btn and i will set margin then width of this button then padding and border radius okay now you can see the margins over here okay now i will write code for first button so background color will be dark orange and color white and the second button background will be transparent and color and border one pixel solid dark orange then color black that's it so you can see beautiful buttons over here okay and this is also very responsive now we need to add some hover effect on this button for that i'll write a dot button hover and background dark orange border none color white and box shadow so i am adding some shadow on this button when you will hover it and some transition 0.3 second that's it now go to your website and you can see the beautiful hovers here okay now i want to add some margins on both the column okay for that i am writing one class here banner info and the second one will be banner image okay so now write css code for this one banner info and banner image and i will set the margin 30 pixel and now reload your website so you can see if you want me to create other part of uh, this website like features team gallery contact us then please let me know in the comment section and also like this video let's set the target only 1000 like for this video then i'll create tutorial on all other parts of this website and i will put the link in the description of this video okay so please like and share this video and subscribe my channel easy tutorials thanks for watching